Hi, I wanted to share a organizing thought freeing idea that I use and I highly recommend a book called Organizing for Your Brain Type. It really goes into why organization systems may not work for some people. Like for me, I don't like drawers except for certain things, but for clothing, very few items go in drawers. Everything goes on shelves or is hung up. And I'll get into that when I do some home videos that um, I hope to do in the near future. But this, uh, I have a hard time letting go of things at night. You know, ideas are popping up. And if I just write them down, it helps me to release those ideas. They're on paper. I can, you know, let my mind relax and sleep. But papers all over the place. <laughs> doesn't work either. It starts becoming really bad. So I like using uh, photo albums. And that's what these are. These are actually old Brad Bragg books. They're for four by six photos, four inch by six inch photos, but they're also perfect for four by six index cards. So um, this is one I just started working on today. And I have a list. And lists are great, but again, I lose the papers. Uh, notebooks are great, but then, you know, I'm going to find that in here later, you know, if I did this months ago, it would be hard for me to find it. But I use notebooks for organizing ideas, and then I transfer what's pertinent to the cards. Uh, that was for uh, pricing for a project that I'm, I'll be doing. And I just wanted to show that this works out great because... Um, it started with this years ago. I made these as uh, presents, Christmas gifts, and these were recipes. And you see how nice this was done, scrapbooking. And these are just recipes that we like to do uh, regularly, my brine recipe that I do every Thanksgiving. And this kind of freed me up. And this, the nice, you know, already, you know, done cards are put in here. This is my in works recipe. Uh, these are Korean things that I make and breads and soups and entrees and uh, the recipe I use the most of my powdered cream of soup mix that's you know all dry and stores for a long time and I have not bought Campbell's cream of anything in I don't know how many years but this also stores what I need to do for Thanksgiving. I, that Thanksgiving is one of my holidays. I, I normally snag that one unless someone really wants to do it, and it's like, sure, go ahead. But I like doing it. I've got the room. We all sit at one table for my family. And it's like, this is the weekend before. I, I normally buy a frozen turkey, and I need to let it start defrosting at least a week before Thanksgiving. And uh, to make room, in uh, we have two fridges, and it tells me you know, d different things. Um, my basic menu with some modifications and something new every year. I try to, you know, something to break up the monotony. Clean house, clean house, clean house, clean house. <laughs> I have to do the cornbread the, um, the Monday before so I can get it nice and dry so I can do uh, stuffing or dressing or however you want to call it. And, you know, that helps me to organize. And this is just in the back and I can find it every single time. So. Another, this is a photo thing, but this is a smaller, this is a three and a half by five index cards, I think. But um, the photo ones are for, you know, four and a half, uh, by, no, four by six, excuse me, four inch by six inch index cards. So I just wanted to show you, and then this is how I keep track of my um, bulk food pantry, I guess, the stuff I buy lots of. And at one time, I was delusional enough to think I was going to keep up with it as we used it, things would get marked off. But I never could get my guys in on it, and then I wasn't really good at doing it myself. So I just go ahead and put down, like, this is the last time I did limas. Baby limas was five years ago, and I was able to put away 12 quarts and 35 pints out of a 50-pound bag. That's how, how, how much I was able to do. I still have those. So I've not run out. I've not been able to sit down and say how much I've got left, but I've not needed to do any more of those. And then when I do another one, I'm, you know, it, and that will show me how long a 50-pound bag has lasted my family over five years 
I've not bought any baby llamas in that time. These are vacuum sealed and as good as the day I've, I've put them away. So index cards helps me because uh, I've tried it on, on a um, computer program to help keep track of it. I've tried to do it in an Excel spreadsheet. I've tried to do it on uh, paper and it just did not work. Index cards when an index card is no longer any good. It, it's uh, like I started out with this one with camping and then I realized wait a minute I need to break it down in different ways than I had in the list because the list I was using was from three years ago which still is good it still has all the stuff but it was organized by where I had things located you know things that were in the shed things that were in the kitchen things that were you know, in the spare room things like that and that's no longer applicable because we moved last year so now I'm trying to figure out you know the, the, the exterior things the main things that we definitely you know need to get and then what I need for my camp kitchen and dining area, uh, sleeping, you know, things like that, and trying to break this down and having it all in one place, and then all these will go into another place, uh, in the same place, <laughs> so I can find them when I need it. But like this one here, sorry about the glare, home canning, not in ball, ball blue book, not USDA tested or approved, because it wasn't tested, so they can't approve it. Like. Um, Canning dried beans. I've got a video up on that already on Facebook. I'm not sure YouTube. I think YouTube too. But anyway, it has the instructions I need, and some of it's shorthand. Uh, bacon bits. I got the idea from Bear Prepper. I think I'm saying that right. And her video was on bacon strips, and I kind of modified it for the way I do. Um, I would use uh, stored bacon, and how I do uh, chicken raw packed. Uh, let's see corned beef, uh, seaweed soup. You're not going to, I don't think the USDA will ever test seaweed soup. It's just not going to happen. It's a Korean thing. I've um, canned my peanuts. Yeah, very dangerous. You have to make sure you are definitely reaching the, the pressure and time on that pressure because that's dirt. Definitely eat, um, botulism is uh, very prevalent. You need to be very careful and know what you're doing and comfortable with doing it and I overprocess, and it's already been cooked for quite a while before I do it. I do my own menudo, and if you don't know what that is, just look it up. But you know, these are things that I've been adding slowly. Uh, they start out on a different sheet of paper or on a website, and I try it out and see what works for me. And then this are upcoming YouTube videos. Okay, I'm not going to show you that because I've already alluded to some that I'm doing. But this has really, really helped me to not be so scattered. And if you think the same way or along the same ways that, as my brain works, then this will probably help you too. But you got to find out, you know, if this doesn't work for you, then don't give up. There's something else. And do get that book, Organizing for Your Brain Type. Because just because everyone else does files a certain way and you know offices all do it the same way pretty much doesn't mean that that's right for you for your home files and that may be why you're not able to keep up with it because your brain is revolting on this whole system uh, for my clothes I, I I would fold clothes and leave them in my laundry basket because I would end up opening all my drawers that had shirts to find the one shirt I was looking for I even had them vertically so I could, you know, have all my shirts folded and like this so I could see them. And you know what a pain that is to keep them vertical like that and neat? So eventually they just ended up in the laundry basket. And I found if they were on a shelf and laying on a shelf and I can just open the cabinet door, there it is. But do, do get the book. And if this helps you, if you have any questions about any of this that I've shown, please don't hesitate to ask. I'll be more than happy to answer. Thanks for watching.